Hello everyone, it's Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today my Hotpoint Aquarius washing machine got an error F05. This means that the filter pump is blocked. I'll show you how I fixed it. Right, let's get cracking. Now this procedure should be the same for Indesit and Whirlpool washing machines as well. So what should be happening is, when you're doing a wash, all the water should be pumping out into your drain like this. And what's happened on ours is, it's literally stopped mid-cycle and the washing machine is full of water. And we've got this error F05. So what you wanna do first is just pull your washing machine out. Just be careful when you pull the washing machine out, not to pull it out too far and aggressive because obviously you've got the mains water pipe and you've got the drainage pipe as well you do not want to pull those out now the first thing I'm going to do here is turn the mains water off which is the mains water into the washing machine and then I'm going to check the drainage pipe make sure that's not blocked and this one's looking good it's also worth having a look down inside that drainage pipe on the wall there which goes to the outside to make sure that it's not blocked now you will need a big washing bowl because there will be a lot of water in here if it's stopped mid-cycle there is a link above now about how to replace a toilet flush lever handle so you can see this is filled up so just empty that and the washing machine's still got a fair bit of water in it there. So I'm just going to prise the front panel off here, just with a big flat bladed screwdriver. And this is where the filter pump is. What I'm going to do next is just lean the washing machine right back and get that empty washing machine bowl underneath because you will get water out of here. Now this should unscrew really, really easily. It should turn around about three times and then come out. But this one's having a real bother trying to get it out. And that is a good sign really, because it means that there is something stuck inside. So you might just have to use a bit of brute force. Just keep wiggling it around. If it's not gonna come out easily, just wiggle the washing machine around. If you've got some debris in there, just try and get it loose. So I did struggle with this. There is a link above now about how to remove the system lid on a dual push button toilet. But eventually I got it loose. And that is one of the reasons why the pump stopped working. But we're not finished yet. Yeah, and there's the propeller inside. So I'm gonna get my sausage fingers in here. There's not very good access. If you can find someone with really small fingers, it's worth getting them to help you. Now I can feel something against the propeller there at the back, which is the pump propeller, which Hold on, what's that? pumps all the drainage water out. Come on, come on. Come on. And look what come I've on. got here. Ah, come on. A bent hair clip. That's definitely not mine. So some woman in this house is in trouble. Look at it, it's all bent. Cause... That's why you should always check your pockets before you put anything in the wash. So we've got a hair clip and a 10p piece. Now I'm just gonna lean the washing machine forward just to drain the rest of the water out. There is a link above now about how to clean your UPVC window frames so that they stay clean. You will get a lot of water if it's stopped mid-cycle. Once you're happy all the water is drained out, you can get the Put, you can screw the filter back in. This should be very, very easy. So I'm just gonna turn it in there. And there you go, that's fully tightened. I'm just gonna unscrew it again, just to show you how easy it should be. But I was having real trouble earlier, because obviously that hair clip and the 10p piece was getting stuck and I couldn't turn it. Now remember to put the drainage hose back in the drainage pipe and clip it into that U-bend at the top there, just the U-bend bracket. And then also remember to turn the mains water back on into the washing machine, otherwise you will get an H2O error code. And my advice is carry on with the cycle or start a new cycle, but don't put the washing machine back yet. Just leave it where it is. And then you can keep an eye on the filter that you've screwed back in and the pipes at the back just to make sure there's no leaks. You can see how wet all the washing was because it stopped mid-cycle. It got through most of the cycle, so all we want to do now is just do a rinse, which is cycle A on here. 
just to make sure that we haven't damaged the pump. There's a link above now about how to test car fuses without having to remove them using a multimeter. It's going to take 36 minutes, but obviously I'll cut this short. The reason I've left it all out and with the cover off is just so I can check while it's doing the final rinse that we've got no leaks. And that's all looking good. And it's filling up with water nicely. And then I'm just going to go outside and check that the water is draining correctly. Which it is, which is fantastic news. Before it stopped mid-cycle and it was making a horrendous noise just before it stopped. Obviously with that hair grip bashing on those propellers. So that is all looking good. Once you're happy that it's all working and you've got no leaks, you can just put the washing machine back in there. Be careful not to kink any pipes. Put the front cover back on. There's a link above now about how to clean the inside of a thermos flask the easy way. And here is the official F05 error code text from the manual. You can pause that at your leisure if you want to just quickly read that. And oh, what is this? A bit of magic. It's only a lovely cup of tea. Oh, superb. Oh. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, guys and girls. If you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab. <laughs>